Would you please start sharing uh, what was the thing you struggled in your life and how the Lord has set you free? Well, I was raised uh, in a wonderful family, Catholic family. I went to church. I knew about the Lord. I was raised to know and love the Lord. Um, but as a teenager, I was curious with the world, uh, and I got caught up in addictions. I got caught up in the world and sin and everything that went along with it. Uh, for many years, uh, I struggled in this, and until September 14th of 1991, that's the day that God delivered me. Uh, so, Daniel, we are talking about a drug addiction that you were uh, addicted, right, to drugs for how many years? Well, from the time of 15 till uh, 31, so half of my life was drug addictions, uh, anything and everything. It wasn't anything in particular, but what it was was the enemy had taken me away from being with God, and, and that was the worst part of it all. But I couldn't see it because I was so lost in the addiction, I didn't even realize it was a bad thing and, mm -hmm. and, until somebody came in my life. And so what happened? How did the Lord set you free from this uh, drug addiction? Well, I, I was so sick and in my addiction that I couldn't think clearly or do anything. God really showed up and did this without me even being a part of it. Uh, my parents showed up, took me to Our Lady Lord's Hospital. Back then, they used to have a treatment program that you could go to. I happened to have an insurance card in my wallet that had been expired for five years. But they use that insurance to get me into the program, so there's God at work already, long enough for me to get cleaned up. And he started talking to me at that point. Oh, come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So that was the program that you went through, and uh, through that program, the Lord set you free from addiction to drugs. Is that correct? Yes, he began, he began the process. Uh, at that point in time, I really didn't know the Lord. I knew about him because of my upbringing as a Catholic. This was a secular program, the Narcotics Anonymous. I went through the treatment program, so I was doing the worldly program, and it began the process of getting me free. But two years into the program, uh, a, a woman came into my life uh, who's now my wife. We've been married 24 years. <laughs> She uh, was a member of a church, and she took a big risk uh, and invited me to that church. I, I was the guy that snuck into the back corner. It was a Wednesday evening service, you know, so I hid in the corner because I didn't want to make her nervous. So I didn't want the church to fall down. But the Lord tugged at my heart that night, and my wife sang a Southern Gospel song, and like two weeks later, she invited me to come to a regular service. It's a Pentecostal church, and so... I sat next to her, and her father-in-law was on the other side. They let out in tongues and worship. They were nervous that it would scare me, but they looked at my eyes, were just full of tears because God had finally touched my heart. And he, he took a broken person like me and gave me a second chance. And I think the biggest thing I'm here to say to anybody that's listening, and if you're within blocks of this church and you're hurting, just drop everything and come here right now. You know, I mean it, because God wants to touch you right now. He set me free, and I'm no different than you. If you're sitting there on your couch, and you're looking at that TV, or you hear this thing in your ears, come here, because God will set you free. He, what he did for me, he'll do for you. He's no respecter of men. Come on. Our God is good. Amen. Amen. Daniel, would you please share um, how long it's been since you've been free from drugs, and what do you do as a ministry now well september 14th 1991 was the day he delivered me uh, from drug addiction i've been free since that day uh, through the process i met my wife we went to a church uh, within about two years after being married the pastor approached us and he felt a need within the congregation of people that needed to be delivered and free and I think that's true anywhere. I think all of us can think of somebody within our family that needs this. You know, well, we all need freedom in Jesus. Amen. But so the pastor approached us. We created a ministry. And that was, I believe, in 1997 we started this ministry. And my wife and I and a team of people ran this for 15 years. Uh, the ministry is still working. The church changed it a little bit, but the ministry is still in effect today, touching people's lives. 
but the Lord has led me here to just share this with you guys and to let you know that God is a God of second chances. So if you're sitting there and you think that you've just been too bad or you've done too much, come and see me because my story is probably a little worse than yours. I'm not telling all the details here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you.